Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today we're going to look at a cable tester that we offer on our website and it should also be on Amazon. And these are really neat things, they're very inexpensive and it, it's really cool some of the things they do. So let's take a look at it. We're going to show you how to use it. We're going to show you why it's an advantage to you. I already have this one open just to let you know. I already put a 9 volt battery in it. It takes a 9 volt battery and it has some components here that we're going to look at. Okay and what they do. So let's take a look at it. it. It comes with a a base and it comes with a remote and uh, uh, this is really an ingenious idea. First of all it's inexpensive that's what's great about it. Um, and it's going to test things like patch cords. So let me plug in a patch cord here into the base and the base has two RJ45's there. It, it tests the CAT3, CAT5, CAT5A, CAT6, CAT6A anything that's an RJ45. So this is a straight through now, straight through patch cord. I'm going to turn it on and I can do automatic or I can do manual. So this is automatic. It's testing each wire, not just pair, but wire. So as it goes through, and later what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, some of these lines in this, this patch cord and I'm going to show you how they show up on there. Okay, so that's that's us testing your patch cords, just to make sure you got continuity. That's all it is, is a continuity tester. So that works really well. Um, but let's go on a little bit here. Let's see what else it does. So you pull that out. You can tell only the top one works. Let me show you again. Push it in. It shows you straight through. When you only see a line at the top and not at the bottom, it means it's not connected. So why is that G there? Well, they call it ground, but in reality, what that is actually testing is it's testing shielded cable. And that's not a shielded cable, so it can't test that last one. So most people do not use shielded cable. Now I'm going to put in a remote. I tell you this works great with our cable identifier because what I do is uh, put the cable identifier out there in the cabling and again for those who might not know who I am I've been in IT for almost 40 years uh, cable contractor licensed in California low voltage put in over 6,000 locations throughout the United States did all sorts of cabling jobs data centers um, uh, malls, airports, did all sorts of things including just regular businesses and rarely do a home because they're really difficult to do homes and people don't want to pay you uh, for the time you spend on doing a home because of the, the construction, home construction is difficult. Anyway, make a long story short, all my cabling guys have this and we use it extensively. Just want to go through some things. It has a 9 volt battery and you're going to find it here in that little case. It does not come with a 9 volt battery. We do not sell 9 volt batteries. That's something you, you get at uh, Walmart or something like that. Uh, you can get it anywhere obviously. And you have automatic and you have manual. So I'm going to turn it off automatic and I'm going to go manual. One wire at a time. And of course you're not going to show up for that one here because this is not a shielded cable. Shielded cables have that extra shielding over it and it will test those also. Okay? So I think that's sufficient. That's how it plugs in. A little bit later we're going to cut some of these cables. I'm going to show you how this is going to show up differently. Uh, there's no battery in this unit. Um, Self-contained. Pretty, pretty sturdy plastic. It's, you know, it's, it's strong. Um, what I do is, when I test things, is I always keep a short patch cord. This is kind of long. It must be about three foot long. I keep maybe a, a one foot patch in here and I plug it into the, to the, um, uh, the rack that holds the patch panel and then I have a one foot patch cord in here and I go out to the office area or I have someone go out to the office area and plug in and then we can check our cabling in the wall. So it's not only going to check your patch cords like we have here, 
but it also can check the cabling in the wall to see, how, to see if your pinout is correct. And so what you would do is you pick, you put one out in the, uh, in the office area or wherever you're checking and the other with the patch panel. And each of them have a little patch cord on there. You plug into the jack. I prefer this out in the office area and this in the central area, the data room, because uh, it just has more functionality. This is easier to handle, quicker to handle. And you just plug it into your jack and then in the uh, data room, you know, it will go through the, uh, the different ones like this. And the other guy, of course, is watching to make sure that, you know, doesn't have any problems. And that's how that would go. Of course, we don't have it plugged in. And then both these can see. I don't have it plugged in all the way. There you go. Let's see. So you can see how it works. It's really good. Very inexpensive. Great tool. Very fast. And then you know if you got a problem. And then of course you can go. You know, you can talk to the person on the radio. You can say, okay, wire wire one. You got a light? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what we do. Um, and if both are red at both ends, then you know you have continuity. And continuity is really the first basic test when you're doing a cabling job. So if you have that cable running from the patch panel to the wall, from the data room to the wall, um, then this is how you test it. Uh, you test each cable and you test each wire in each cable so it's going to tell you even if just one wire is broken it's going to let you know that there's a problem there and that's pretty ingenious. Now what are these other things? Well uh, this is for telephones. Um, they test the telephone line RJ11. The others were for RJ45. Uh, this is kind of like not used very much, but it is nice to have the option if you're testing uh, a jack that's attached to a fax machine these days. I think most people use VoIP, but you can attach you can test your your RJ11s this way. And so this is just a patch cord. Make your own. These are kind of nice. Um, these little things they go in the RJ45, and it helps you center the RJ11. Of course, you don't need them. Uh, it centers itself, but that's that's what it would do. It would go right in there and it helps center it in the top here. So it would go in there like that. So if you're doing RJ11s, a lot of them, you put this little plastic spacer in there and that helps you. But actually, I think, let me give it a try, because we you can plug an RJ11 plug into a 45. It won't run a computer, but it will run, let's see what we got. See, I got a problem with this jumper, but you can see it. You can see how it identified a bad. No, oh, no, no, no. This is RJ11. It just dawned on me. It doesn't have all the pins. It only has uh, four pins on this, right? Yep, four pins. And so the first two and the last are not going to work. So uh, that would make sense. I thought I had a bad jumper here. I don't use this jumper so what can I tell you so but that's what these are for and then of course how do you test coax and uh, use these coax testers they connect to your to your BNC I don't know does anyone really use BNC anymore but you get the idea and there it is you test uh, to your coax this goes in the other side test coax so personally I don't have any coax. I don't have any um, RJ11s anymore. I have just data jacks, so I don't keep I don't keep most of that stuff in the pack with me. I just keep these things with two short patch cords, um, or some patch cords, just uh, to do it. Now I'm going to show you here at the end. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have a bad patch cord. But I wanted history. History is important. Where did you come from? Type of thing. I'm going to open up one of my old, old, old testers. This thing is so old. This is a very inexpensive tester. Now when I say inexpensive, we're talking about, I think I paid $800 for it. 
and you can see I got patch. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I got patch cords and all in there. And uh, here's my old tester. I used to have a lot of these. And uh, that'll give you a lot more. That'll tell you the, the total footage involved. And uh, uh, give you, uh, it'll run traffic over it. It will do auto test. It will do wire mapping and all that other stuff. It's kind of cool. Pretty pricey though. I don't know what they sell them for these days. I haven't bought this one in, haven't bought one in years. But as you can see, you plug in one end and you can hear it go click, 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 click as it goes by and also tests coax. I don't know. It's kind of useless to coax one. Um, but that's what it does. And uh, it gives you a wire map. It tests to see if it's Cat 5e, -E, Cat 6 standard, Cat 3. Who cares about Cat 3 anymore? But uh, just about anything uh, that requires Cat 3 will work over uh, just about any type of wire. Um, if you require Cat 3, no one uses Cat 3 anymore. I think it's silly almost, but people still sell it. Um, really, the ones that are selling these days are Cat 5e and Cat 6, but we're off topic. So, why do I use this rather than these? I'll tell you, at one point we had a fluke tester that was worth oh, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, and we would do all these reports and everything else and um, it was similar to this except it you know it was a fluke and this thing can do reports also so we do the reports and we'd come back to the office we download the reports and when we downloaded the reports we'd print them and give them to the customer and the customer would call that certifying a cable and and they felt more comfort comfort in that but that would take about 15 minutes extra per jack and you had to charge extra plus you had to charge for the you know the wear and tear on the tester because you know a lot of this equipment will only work for a couple of years and then that's it and so and plus it gets stolen uh, all this stuff I probably owned a lot of these in my company and they disappear they get left somewhere they get stolen they fall out of a truck they yeah it just they just disappear and it costs lots of money so it's basically if you're putting in good quality parts like Cat 5e and Cat 6 uh, all you really need to do is is uh, identify the cable and I, that's what the cable identifier is for and then run a continuity test then if you have a problem um, you bring in the you know the uh, the fluke uh, the big tester and it will tell you where the problem is um, most customers are shied away from that uh, report because a lot of unscrupulous um, uh, cable guys will just keep a list of um, reports Printout reports in their computer that they can print out and modify for any customer, and they've really never tested anything. So, how we answered that is we just have a 15 year warranty on all our work. So, we say, hey, if it doesn't work, we'll come back and fix it. If you want us to verify, um, you know, down to, uh, you know, the cross uh, crossover uh, signal uh, crosstalk and things like that, uh, be happy to do that, but we got to charge you extra because of the time involved, and most of our customers that we deal with have been dealing with us for years and they trust us and uh, I haven't had one customer in I would say five ten years that asked me to produce a report so we don't do that but this is something when you have a miswired jack or uh, you need to ta test a patch cord um, this is the type of equipment you need so you know, you run that test because sometimes people punch, and sometimes yourself, you know, you get busy, you're thinking about Thanksgiving or Christmas or something and you're not really paying attention to what you're doing and you, you don't punch down right. And in reality, uh, you really need to test every single jack. Uh, some people only test one in five. We test every single jack for continuity and uh, then once in a while we'll come in and do quality control with the, you know, the big tester. But continuity is your first test. So cable identifier I sell that on the website that will help you speed up your time when you're cabling a um, you know more than you know 10 or 12 cables it's really a lot faster when you have hundreds and and uh, or more cables you know five six hundred thousand cables it is a uh, time savings it is phenomenal probably uh, 30 40 50 percent of your time is saved if you use a cable identifier but then you go back, or as you're using the cable identifier after you punch down and everything else, then you go back 
and you do a continuity test and that's what this land test is it's a continuity test and it's going to tell you if you pinned it out right it's going to tell you um, if there's integrity between the jack and the patch panel and also you know sometimes as a IT guy sometimes all you need to do is you just need to check to see if a patch cord is good don't throw out good patch cords this one's kind of old for us it was in the pile of reuse for the office so as you can see it's a good patch cord right and remember this tester also tests shielded so that's why that last light is there it's meant to be um, uh, testing the shielding and since this is not a shielded patch cord you're not going to see that last light light up here because there is no shielding on here to test so this test shielding or at least sends out the signal there is no shielding to test I don't know why they call it G maybe ground uh, but it tests um, as they say here they say 10 base T well it tests 10 base T 100 base T 1000 base T anything it's an RJ45 did I get that in there in the picture uh, anything it's an RJ45 it will test RJ11s and it will also test uh, coax BNC doesn't matter if it's um, 586A or 586B, it will test the same. It tests everything. It's uh, light, it's uh, inexpensive, and the nice thing about it too is in the past we have a lot of people steal things. You know, sometimes customers for some odd reason will steal something. I have no idea why, but sometimes things just disappear. Human nature, I guess. Um, you know, this is no big deal if it gets stolen. It's not the uh, $7,000 uh, uh, tester that. Uh, from fluke that tells you uh, you know every characteristic on the cable uh, but this is a very inexpensive one now let's see I'm going to in your presence let's see what we get out of this I'm going to just snip the edge of the cable see what I get and see if I can break a pair let's see what we got yeah see it now you notice that uh, it's going to disappear that tells you I have a break so right here, I broke a couple cables. It's going to tell whether or not see it. So that's a lifesaver. I mean, you know, I, I mean, yeah, I destroyed a patch cord. Big deal. I did it for. Uh, uh, I I did it for demonstration so you can see how it works, and that it works. Okay, and that that could uh, help you. Sometimes people are having problems. You don't know why they they. They went over their cable with a chair about 10 million times and their cable is all gnarly looking from the wall to their computer and you can just instantly check it. If you are an IT guy, this is invaluable for basic checks. You know, I don't know how many times IT guys will call me up and they'll say, oh, that jack you put in last week isn't working. And I'll say, okay, we'll come out and test it for free. It's under warranty. Come out and test it and the jack works absolutely fine. And I said, why did you think it was a jack? And they said, well, because we tested all our other software and everything else. The only thing left was the cabling. And that's logical, and that's not a big problem. It rarely happens, uh, but it does happen. And uh, if you have one of these, you're, you're not going to be calling your uh, cable guy, stuff like that. So if you're a Microsoft dealer, this is really good because it takes away the doubt about whether or not you got basic connectivity back to the switch. And if you're a cable company, this just saves you a ton of time, and it also saves you go-backs. And the thing I like about it is inexpensive. So if you run over it with your truck, someone steals it, some kid walks away with a remote or something, or you misplace it somewhere or something like that, it's no big deal. It's not going to be a, uh, a bankruptcy, uh, and you're not going to lose sleep. Um, and wonder why you're in the cabling business as someone steals. That's a lot different. You got that fluke and you got that $70,000 tester. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's on your mind. You know, you call the, the testing crew up. Hey, did you lock up the fluke? Did you take it out of the car? Don't leave it back. Don't leave it in the back of the truck. If someone breaks in, they'll steal that sucker and they won't know what it is, but they'll steal it anyway. And you'll be out of $70,000 and it's going to take a while to get it, you know, to get it replaced. Again, it has its purpose. I use this if I got continuity I'm using positive parts and I give a 15 year warranty there's not been a problem but my philosophy is if you don't test continuity if you don't test continuity 
then, um, or if you don't test the jacks, period, uh, but if you don't test continuity, then uh, um, you're going to be called back. Uh, you're going to have some jacks that aren't going to work, because no matter how good you are, no matter how many times you did it in your life, you are going to mess up eventually. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you like this. I think maybe we might offer this along with our uh, cable identifier as a kit. But for now, it's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on our website. Um, I love these things. We use these all the time. It's just really a, a good product and a great deal. Very inexpensive. It will pay for itself in one install. The first time you find a jack that's not working, and this identifies it right there it paid for itself and go backs and reputation and everything and uh, we don't have go backs in our company so it's really a great thing to to have um, again this is jim gibson with cablesupply.com and nova voice and data systems thank you for watching the video please like us and uh, subscribe really like the subscribers and if you have any comments i'm sure some people have comments because they do it differently than i and um, I welcome the comments, and I do appreciate them. Um, uh, thank you for watching the video. Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from Cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with Cablesupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>